Lockie Whitfield, Dan Nongstigrais, midfield. Elite, elite, elite. It seems every expert you ask throws that magical E word in Lockie Whitfield's direction. His vision is elite, his endurance is elite, his right foot is elite, his left foot is elite, his hands are elite. The list goes on and on. It's why you can bank on GWS calling out Whitfield's name with the first pick in this month's draft. Whitfield was first identified as a freakish talent at 12, and by 14, some of the Dandenong on Stingrays were already predicting he could top his draft pool. Now, while Tom Scully's work rate is impassable, those in the know say at the same age, Whitfield has him covered. Whitfield oozes class and he's got a lot of natural ability, but his frame is only 77 kilos. Still, GWS expects him to make a strong impact on the AFL next year. My strengths are probably my endurance. I've, I did a lot of cross country and athletics as a little kid, so I'm trying to keep that up and try and use it as an asset that it can probably get over others, and as well as my uh, clever kicking, I think, like trying to break lines with kicking and use the depth of um, my kicks to you know try and open up play. Because I'm not as big as the other blokes as yet, which is a, probably a deficiency in my game, um, I've got to really try and use that asset of being able to you know, get the upper hand on endurance and work them into the ground. I've been thinking that I've wanted to play AFL for my whole life, so there's never really been a, you know, if I can't play AFL because I wanted to strive to get there. You know, coming up through the national system in the 16s and 18s this year and last year, I've kind of understood that I could play at a higher level of underage football. And especially now having the contacts in the AFL, I just love the lifestyle that they live. And, you know, I just want to play footy at the highest level possible and, you know, why not get paid for it if you can. Yeah.